This is the Jebco G4 Pro. They call it the personal privacy protector or the anti spy detector. So you can see how big this is, about the size of a dry marker. So it comes with that, instructions, a USB C charging cable, which goes into the bottom. There's an LED light on there that'll turn red. There's no indicator on the battery, but if that turns red when you plug it in, it needs to charge. And it'll go out when it's done, fully charged. I said the instructions aren't that bad. They walk you through how to find RF signals, Wi-Fi signals, radio signals. I put it in silent mode. And it's pretty simple. It's only got two buttons on here. You push this bottom one and hold it for three seconds. It turns on. It goes right into Wi-Fi mode. You have Wi-Fi mode. If you push this top button, it's the mode button. Yep. You got to push and hold it. Sorry. Got that backwards. So if you push and hold this for three seconds, it turns on. It goes right into Wi-Fi mode. You can see it up here. It's, it's an indicator to begin with when you're walking around looking. This will go up and down as you're getting closer. But you can also push the mode button. And this moves up. You can go up five more, which means it's trying to look at a smaller distance and trying to pinpoint where it really is so it narrows the this, this spectrum down for you. You push the power on button shortly and it changes to broadband or full band and then it's looking for like more like phone bands like 3G, 4G, 2G for GPS and if you push it again those go out and this light comes on and this is what you use to look for the camera lens because when this sees a lens you'll see like a little sparkle or, or reflect this light back at you. I mean, you kind of notice it when you see it. And if you want, if you can hear this making noise, if you want to put this in silent mode, maybe you don't want to bother anybody, you don't want anybody knowing you're doing it. If you push and hold the top button for 10 seconds, it does take a little while. Just push and hold it, you'll hear it beep. Now it's in silent mode. So now that so it's not in silent mode when you push this, but it's in silent mode when it goes to detect things. It doesn't stop the key in. But as you're walking around, you won't hear this beep, which I'll show you in a minute. If you push it again and hold it again until it beeps again, it'll, it turns it off or turns the sound back on. So now it should be back into, into the noise mode. So basically to find stuff, you want to walk around with this. I know my router is going to set this off, so if I walk towards my router, turn the light on for you, you can see it beeping. The signal gets bigger because it's pointing at my router because I know that's a signal. Things like my phone, if I put it in, take it off of Wi-Fi, and put it into full band. You know, my cell phone should set this off, and it does. Get around that water bottle. And then if you put it in the last mode, you can kind of see the reflection in the middle of that camera lens. It's a little light in here. Look, it's not as good as it would be if you were in a darker room. Then you just push and hold this again to shut it off only waste I don't know 20 grams 30 grams it's not that light or heavy should go in a bag in your pocket take it anywhere you want so you can see right at the end of this is a little red light LED light telling you that it's being charged I'm assuming that'll turn green or go out when it's done I'm gonna wait and see so you can see once it's charged there's no more light so it just goes out it doesn't turn green just goes away so if you don't see it it's fully charged so there's no battery level or meter on here so it's either on or off 